Hello and good evening and welcome to Oz Mining YouTube channel. About five months ago we started a mini project and I will put a link uh, at the top to the video I did on this initially and the project was to replace a six pin power connector on this mini box Dogecoin miner by Goldshell. Quite a common complaint, the six pin power sockets uh, often kind of melt and um, burn up the, the power connector and also for, from the PSU. And also you see here, so it's very burnt and blacked out. I've actually stripped off the piece of plastic there to get access to the pins. And what I was trying to do in the original video was to unsolder this. So uh, I started to try and unsolder it and nothing is basically happening. I realized then that my solder iron at the time was defective and I put that in the bin. I then went on to eBay and I got this quite fancy looking um, solder station which had a, uh, a both a heat gun and it also had a solder iron here which I've actually now taken apart and I've realized to be honest I was doing a review on that and I would say it's pretty much junk. Um, don't buy cheap stuff on eBay, particularly, well, I'd say, look, from my experience, um, I might have just been unlucky. What I did is I actually went over to JCar, not sponsored, just, just that's where I went to get some advice. And I brought a solid 40 watt soldering iron. It was about uh, 20 to $30, so a good mid-range iron. And I also got another good bit of advice. Um, I was actually using some lead-based solder. So you can see there, 60%. SN and 40% PB, which is um, lead. <laughs> and I actually had a couple of these and they were both lead-based solder. What I then found out is lead-based solder actually has a lower melting point than non-lead-based solder, uh, which is more the modern solders, um, which need a bit more heat to melt. So this here you can see is 99.3 alloy and um, 0.7% um, CU, is that, I don't know if that's copper, uh, and then 2% flux. However, as you'll see, there's no PB, no lead in this, lead free, as it says on the tin. Now, here's the thing with this if you're trying to unsolder very tough to get off solder connections, what you don't want to do is use lead solder that will melt quicker than other solders, and then you're not really going to be tackling the issue or mixing a bit of fresh solder with the old connectors. So by putting some solder on that has a high, high melting temperature, what you're going to do, you're going to have a better chance of then reaching a temperature that will even melt the solder on the ball. We don't know what solder it is, but it's just going to have a higher melting point. And there is this method around if you blend old solder and new solder, you'll actually be able to um, loosen it and get, get the other solder off. So again, love YouTube. Thanks for, you know, people putting videos out there with some, some tips and things. And you'll actually see uh, about five minutes ago, I had a little Yahoo moment and I actually got off one of the six pin power connectors there he is and i actually had to have some pliers underneath i was pulling it down had my solder iron on top and yes it came off which is amazing so it looks a bit of a mess there hopefully i can solder this up uh and i'm gonna try and do another one and i'll, I'll try and do it with you so there's no guarantees this will work but you'll actually see the hole that it's come out it's actually quite a clean looking hole so that bodes well if I can get all these off without destroying the board, without blowing um, a capacitor. I, ha I hate the fact that there's a capacitor there really close. So hopefully I don't do any damage to the board. So I'm going to try and just take one of the pins off because I've taken off the plastic shroud. So essentially the six pins are, let me just focus that, the six pins are actually almost like separate uh, little pieces now. So I'm just going to do like one at a time and, and try and get get them off. Um, I also tried a technique, I don't know whether it's helped me or not, it's another thing I saw on YouTube. You can't see in there that there's actually a little piece of copper wire and I made like a little uh, sort of oval shape with it and I put that around the connectors and I actually dropped the solder in there to create like a little well of solder just to get it really onto those old soldering joints that um, Gold have done in their factory back in China and that seemed to then get some good adhesion to the solder there. So now what I've done, I'm just putting the iron on top of that, holding it there for a long time. It, it takes, probably takes a good 30 seconds. You think, you know, this is not doing anything. And then boom, it just comes out really quickly. So let's try and do this with you. Um, I'll put you guys up here. Hopefully we have some better success than what we did five months ago. So hopefully you can see that pretty well. Let me zoom in. So I'll zoom in there. Uh, there we go. And 
and oh, just, I'll try and maybe I'll bring you guys around this side. There we go. I'll put you guys there. So what I'm doing, I'm using the pliers underneath, and I'm just going to grab one of the pins there, and I'm going to be giving that a little bit of a. Um, I have to get my finger in there. So I'm going to be pulling down on that. So I'm going to be giving it um, a little bit of, I guess, force pulling it down. Then, uh, then another thing I've learned is definitely use lots of flux. Just, I think it helps with the oxidization. And so what we'll do now, we'll get a little bit of flux on there. And we'll put some, there's, there's stacks of flux on this, but I don't think flux does any damage. And I'm just hearing from the soldering pros on YouTube that the more flux the better so this is plugged in i'm going to give it a little oh my sponge over there i'm going to there's the solder i'm just going to dip it in some flux give it a little clean um just show you so uh got the end of the solder iron there i put it in some uh some flux then i put it in this little cleaning thing and i have a nice um there we go got a really nice uh let's get that in focus got a really nice tip there so Northridge fix um yeah, I've been watching you guys and I've been learning um, and hopefully I'll do you guys proud now. So now I've found actually what's quite good is he put the solder on the side. So I've got that on the side there and I'm just heating that up, just heating, heating, trying to keep it quite steady and I'm pulling it down, I'm pulling it down, giving it some wiggles, giving it some wiggles, oh, a bit wobbly there, come on, give it some wiggles down there. Come on, let's do it for YouTube. Let's do it. We can do it. Come on, we can do it. Come on. Yeah, we can do it. Didn't quite get there. This this is live. It's happening. Um, I can actually see a bit of flux has come through. So I actually think we we probably got quite close there. Um, what I might do, um, like I say, this is not pre-planned. It's going to be perfect. Let's get a little bit of flux on that. So I'm going to heat that area up again. Actually, you see, like the my my tip's quite dirty there. Actually, that's quite black. So I'm gonna, I've got a little sponge thing over here. I'm going to wipe it. I'm going to put it in some flux now. I'm going to give it a little clean in there. This is great, this little thing, whatever this is. Uh, look at that, that tip is magic. So again, you know, I've just been learning, um, watching some of the pros. That tip is now nicely tinned back up again. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to get a little bit more solder on there. So I'm just going to hold that in. Hey, you know, if any pros are watching me and have got some tips, Seriously, please send them free. This is not a professional here by any means. Right, so I've got a little bit of fresh solder on there. Let's get my pin. Ripped down here. Right, I've got that ripped. Right, let's do this now. Take two. Right, we're heating. Wiggling it. Come on, we want you. We want you out. Come out. Yes, we got it. Woo! Here we go, guys. Here we go. We got a pin out. Ah, can't focus. I'm too excited. Let's drop it down here. We got a pin out. There he is. Look at that. The joy. So let me just move the camera now. We are making progress. So it looks a bit messy in there, but we've got one pin out now. We've got the other one, two pins out. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, <laughs> zoom out a bit more. There we go, we've got two pins out. Look at that. Um, and if I can zoom in there a little bit, let's get the, let's get the light in there for you. Um, yeah, that's great. Let's look at that, let's look at that there. Um, you can see two pins out. So two down, 
four to go. But this is progress. Again, hopefully I'm not stuffing anything up here. It's a bit messy there, but I think these boards are pretty durable. Most of the electrics are inside this green, what they call it, biscuit or whatever. So yeah, so I am going to pause the video now. Let me call, let me call this uh, part two of the video. It's coming in installments. And I will attempt to get the rest of the four pins out. And what I'll do then is I'll get it cleaned up and I'll come back for part three, which will be then me trying to install this on. So um, yeah, I'll get it all cleaned up, get it ready to, I'll put that underneath uh, and then we'll try and get some uh, solder on it. Should be fun, I think. But yeah, anyway, great progress. Thanks for coming back, guys. I think you guys gave me some good luck there. Um, like We've learned some lessons, which is don't buy cheap rubbish on eBay. Uh, even if it looks fancy, just stick to solid, durable, you know, good brands. And go to go to places like JCar where they can give you some good advice. And um, yeah, we're making progress. I seriously thought this would never come off. So thanks for watching. And yeah, come back for part three very soon. Thanks. Bye.